Culinary Fusion in Eswa Diversification of Economic Strategies Amidst the economic tapestry, Eswatini explores avenues for diversification, acknowledging the imperative of resilience in the face of global economic shifts. Efforts to expand beyond traditional economic pillars are evident with a strategic gaze towards sectors such as technology and foresight, navigating the complexities of a globalized economic landscape, undergoes a continuous evolution, mirroring global trends while retaining its unique cultural nuances. The intersection of tradition and modernity shapes social dynamics with shifts in gender roles, educational aspirations, and community structures reflecting the nuanced interplay between a rich cultural heritage and the transformative winds of change. The Swati Swati people the Swati people, the Swazes of Africa, Swaziland is the smallest country in the southern hemisphere with an area of only squiles. Swazes also live in the neighboring areas of Mozambique and South Africa. Those in South Africa outnumber those in South Africa outnumber those in Swaziland, the Swati people, and the King Sabuza. The Swati to the British who occupied Mozambique was a region first occupied the Sagrated from northeast Africa through to Mozambique. In this century, their royal lineage can be traced to a chief named Dominii. This is still the royal clan name. About three quarters of the clan groups are Nguni. The remainder are Sotho, Tsonga, others Northeast African and San descendants. These groups have intermarried freely. Swazi identity extends to all those with allegiance to the twin monarchs Ingwanyama the lion, the king, and Indlo Vikati the she, elephant, the queen Mafai, so as a nation. Ethnically, Swazis are a part of the Nguni people group, originating from the Great Lake areas of Central Africa. Their ancestors were part of the general the Nuni Sub The Nuni Sub The Nuni broke from the Maini, broke from the Mozambique, eventually moving into the area known today as Swaziland. The Swazi developed from the Nguyen, one of the Delamini Sub, opposite Maputo, and the Salatubo engaged in the heavy commerce along the coast, including the export of ivory through sea trade. The Nguyen involvement was one factor that led to the Thames loss of monopoly on commerce. As the Boers expanded, treaties established boundaries with Transvaal, though there were wars with the Zulus. The Swazi King Manzini refused a British request for help in, in the Anglo-Zulu War. Shaka never attacked the Swazi during his expectivity. In the midst of the immunity, Swaziland has one of the highest population growth rates in the world. In the US, the Swaziland Department of Planning projected million by the year the rate of growth has slowed due to the heavy toll of AIDS in the last decade. In educational crisis developed because of the great numbers of AIDS orphans who had no one to pay school fees for them.
The government decided in. It could not pay their fees either. Fifty-five percent of the population lives in the area. Fedidia, sir. The Glen maintained a separate identity as a reputation as one of the most prosperous countries in sub-Sahara. Is a middle income a riches when one looks considered by many, including World Bank, as a middle income nation. A third world economy emerges when one looks closely. The Swazi people are closely allied with the Zulu, Debail, and other Nguni peoples by culture, language, and history. Or not uh, always, I uh, always. Of Swaziland was a strong factor in their maintaining their separate identity. The Swazi people today make up a little over half the population of Swaziland, but it is ruled as a Swazi kingdom. Cultural mosaic and artistic expressions. Within the kaleidoscope of Eswatini's cultural mosaic, artistic expressions to contemporary manifestations of creativity, this cultural canvas, the diverse etiquette, the tradition and innovation, echoes the dynamic interplay between heritage and the evolving currents of artistic exploration. Diversification of economic strategies amidst the economic tapestry. Eswatini explores avenues for diversification, acknowledging the imperative of resilience in the face of global economic shifts. Efforts to expand beyond trivialty, a narrative adaptability and foresight. Navigating narratives of a globalized economic landscape. Evolving social dynamics. The societal fabric of Eswatini undergoes a continuous evolution, mirroring global trends while retaining its unique cultural nuances. The intersection of tradition and modernity shapes social dynamics, with shifts in gender roles, educational aspirations, and community structures reflecting the nuance in her practices. Environmental winds of change positioned at the forefront. The commitment to preserving biodiversity extends beyond borders. Finding expression in national parks and reserves. Eswatini's dedication to environmental sustainability becomes a testament to the recognition that the well-being of its natural landscapes in Eswatini is marked by initiatives that extend beyond borders. Reflecting a commit to global collaboration and a global collaboration in this emphasizes the interconnectedness of global well-being, with initiatives ranging from health. Aids awareness to collaborative efforts with international organizations shaping the trajectory of healthcare, fostering a culture of knowledge transmissions. Educational institutions emerge as crucibles of empowerment, fostering a culture of knowledge transmission orations from the societal advancement. The nurturing intellectual, the vision of an empowered citizenry, 
contributing to the nation's developmental tapestry. Thematic Engagements and Regional Relations Eswatini's diplomatic engagements unfold against the backdrop of regional relations with a recognition of the instrument of this that defines the southern African landscape. Bilateral and multilateral collapse that shape regional dialogues that shape the Kalangaji of the Southern African region. Culinary tapestry of Eswatini is woven with a rich array of traditional flavors and gastronomic delights on. on.